Hey guys, Brian from PFC here with a requested video by some of our students who are downrange deployed right now, putting the hurt on the bad guys. This one pertains to the zeroing of the infrared aiming laser on the weapon system. Uh, for doing this, you're going to need a rifle that is currently zeroed through its optic. Uh, that rifle is going to need to be clear and safe and chamber blocked. You're going to need one of our Alpha 1 training targets or a similar aiming point, uh, and you're going to need a Sharpie of some sort. So the way that we're going to take and perform this is uh, to obtain that parallel method zero, we're bigger advocates of the parallel method as opposed to the intersection method. It gives us a greater uh, consistent result with point of aim, point of impact across distance as opposed to some craziness that occurs with intersection. I'm going to take my rifle, again, uh, clear and safe chamber block. I'm going to put it into the visible aiming laser mode, and I'm going to take that rifle. I'm going to look through the optic and place the red dot of the optic dead center inside of the aiming circle. I'll activate my visible aiming laser. In this case, mine is red. And I'll place a small mark, in this case with a Sharpie, uh, right on the target. So that is the deviation that exists at zero meters between my standard visible optic and then my visible aiming laser. Once I've got that uh, marked, I'm going to, again, clear and safe weapon, chamber blocked. I'm going to back up to 25 meters and I'm going to repeat that process, meaning I'm going to take my visible optic, place my red dot in the middle of the aiming point right there, and I'm going to see where my visible aiming laser is pointed. I'm going to get adjustments either from myself or from a teammate to move that laser back onto that initial zero meter aiming point. So in this case, if my laser was off to the, uh, to the left and low, I'm going to bump it over and then up and get it back on, perform that at 25 meters. Then I'm going to back up and I'm going to repeat that process at 50 meters, getting back on to the initial zero meter contact point. If I am on at zero, if I'm on at 25, and I'm on at 50 without firing a single round, I am parallel. 